What's up guys, my name's Curtis and welcome to 5-Minute Finance, where I take personal finance topics and explain them to you in 5 minutes or less. It's extremely unfortunate, but it happens all too often. A lot of times when people win the lottery, they end up going bankrupt just a few short years later. How could someone who instantly became worth hundreds of millions of dollars go bankrupt just a short time later? One of those reasons has to do with what's called the Diderot effect. The Diderot effect is named after a French philosopher from the 16th century named Denis Diderot, and the term actually came from an essay that he wrote back in that time. The essay was about a time that he received a gift of a brand new, elegant, luxurious red robe. Initially, he was extremely happy and pleased with the gift he had received. He had never had a robe or any item so luxurious and gorgeous. However, when he compared that brand new robe with some of his other possessions, Nothing else that he owned seemed to live up to the high quality and style that came with this new robe. He began to replace almost everything he owned with brand new items just to live up to the quality of that new gift he had received. He replaced paintings in his house with much more expensive ones. He got rid of a straw chair in favor of a brand new comfortable leather one. And he had a vacant corner in one of his rooms next to his window and so he bought a brand new writing desk to fill that vacancy that he didn't need. Before Dennis Diderot received the gift, he had no issues at all with his current possessions, and he was extremely happy with what he had. However, once one thing in his life was upgraded, he felt the need to upgrade every single thing that he owned around him. This story kind of explains the Diderot effect, and how once you get a taste for better things maybe, you instantly feel that the rest of the stuff in your life isn't as good, and you feel the need to buy new stuff. The Diderot effect can impact your personal finance in many ways, both large and small. I already mentioned lottery winners, and this could kind of also apply to people with large inheritances as well. As soon as they get this lump sum of money, they see how much money they have, so they start going out and buying expensive luxury items. Once they get that one taste of the rich life, they then go out and continue to spend and buy a bunch of luxury items just to upgrade every single part of their life. Oftentimes, they eventually spiral out of control and spend every single dollar that they had won or inherited, and then some. This can also happen on a much smaller scale as well. For example, maybe you buy a new house and now your perfectly good car that's a couple of years old just doesn't seem new enough to you. Or you go out and buy all brand new furniture so that not only do you have a new house, you also have a lot of new belongings in the house. The Diderot effect can even show up in seemingly minute things. Maybe you buy a couple of new clothing items and all of a sudden you instantly feel that you need to go buy new shoes just to match the new clothes you got. I've said this before and I'll continue to say it again. I'm not saying that you can't buy new luxuries and upgrade things in your life as you build your wealth. Just be careful with your purchases and know that it is extremely easy to fall victim to some of these things such as the Diderot effect. Especially nowadays that anything you could ever want is just one click away. One of the methods I use to avoid this so-called Diderot effect is this. If I'm considering replacing something I have with an item that's nicer and newer, I first ask myself how much better it really is and whether or not this new item is going to substantially increase my happiness. And then I wait at least a few days, I try to wait at least a couple weeks to make the purchase. Most of the time after that waiting period, I completely forget that I even wanted that item to begin with. In some cases that want still kind of stays in the back of my mind, but over the waiting period I realize that what I currently have is plenty sufficient and I don't need to go out and buy something new. And yes, sometimes I do realize in that waiting period that I do truly want or need that new item. But I find peace in knowing that I took the time to make a good decision on whether or not I actually needed to purchase it. As with all personal finance choices, I think it's best to try and separate finance from emotion. By forcing yourself to wait a little bit before you purchase something, that instant emotional want is going to subside. And you'll be able to make an objective choice on how to spend your money. If you guys enjoyed the video, it would really help me out if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing.